What is the degradation of this one and a half years old Peugeot 208? My name is Bastian and welcome to Electric on Wheels. So why am I standing at this rather uninspiring place? Well, because it is rainy and here I am standing dry. But anyway, I hear you thinking, one and a half years old and only 10,000 kilometers. What is the point? There is no degradation. Well, maybe, maybe there is, because the point is with these Talentus cars is that you always charge them to 100%. And we all know charging non-LFP batteries to 100% and leaving there for a long time, well, batteries don't really like that. And therefore, I am curious if there is already some degradation. And yes, I know charging to 100% is not really 100% because the gross capacity of this battery pack is 50 kilowatt hours and the usable capacity is 45 kilowatt hours. But still, again, I am curious because you can only charge them to 100% if there is any degradation. And well, I am at it. Well, it is not much effort to also do a range test. So besides a degradation test, this is also a range test. So let's get in the car and drive. So I have been driving for around an hour now doing my degradation test, but how do I do my degradation test? Well, it is actually very simple because I charge the car to 100%, then drive 90 kilometers per hour GPS speed all the way to zero or well, close to zero. And then based on the consumption and the distance that I have driven, I can calculate how much energy I could get out of the battery. So why do I drive 90 kilometers per hour? Well, that is to reduce heat loss. Because the faster you drive, the more heat loss you have in the drivetrain, so you get less energy out of the battery. So driving 90 kilometers per hour, I have less heat loss, so I can get closer to that lab result that the manufacturer claims the car had when it was new. So yeah, that is it. Then, driving this car for almost an hour, it's very comfortable. I have headwind all the time because I drive this car from my home to the place where I have picked it up and I am driving west and there is quite a strong wind coming from the west. So I do have headwind at the moment. So the consumption is not that great. It is 17.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Yeah, it's pretty high. Higher than I expected for a small car, even though I have headwind. I have to say the pre-facelifted drivetrain of Stellantis was not that efficient. No, it's not that great. But the facelifted drivetrain, so with a bigger battery pack, 40, no, uh, sorry, 51 kilowatt hours instead of 45 kilowatt hours of usable capacity and 156 horsepower uh, instead of 136 horsepower, that new drivetrain is much more efficient. It, it's a lot better, a lot better. If you have the chance, take the new drivetrain. Again, it's so much better. Anyway, I will keep on driving. How much percent have I have used at the moment? I have already used 42%. Well, okay, a little more than an hour. And I have driven one hour and 15 to 20 minutes. So that means in two and a half hours, a little bit more, in the max of maximum three hours and I am done with this test. Holy crap, that is fast. That is the benefit, at least now it is a benefit, of having a small battery pack because I am done quickly with my test. So that means I am home quite early. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, I will keep on driving and yeah, it's turned on the music and well, it's pretty boring to drive this way to be honest, but I have it I do it all for you. I do it all for the videos. Yeah. Okay, so I have tried twice to do a 90 kilometers per hour consumption run. But since the weather is worse now than last evening when I did my 100 and 130 kilometers per hour consumption run, I get a higher consumption driving 90 kilometers per hour than I did doing 100 kilometers per hour last evening. So yeah, this is really pointless. I thought the wind now is equal to last evening, but apparently it is stronger now. Apparently it is stronger because again, I get the same or a worse consumption than I did last evening driving slower. So yeah, I will just 
estimate how many kilometers you can get while driving 90 kilometers per hour. I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. Sometimes I don't have time to do it all in one day and then the weather changes like crazy and then you get this shit. Yeah. Anyway, the car is now at 32% state of charge so that means I have to drive for another hour, a little bit less than an hour I think. And then my degradation test is done and then I can give you the results. So I will, well, keep on doing what I am doing, driving, and then you will get the result. But then first you'll see the 100 kilometers and 130 kilometers per hour consumption test. I spoke real quick there, real quick. I am turning around during my 130 kilometers per hour test. On my way here I had a positive elevation and tailwind so I'm turning around that means a negative elevation change but also headwind so I am really curious what the average consumption will do it is currently 23.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers but of course I have regent because well I left the highway so let's power it it's not the fastest car it's quick enough for this type of car power it yes I can sneak in this gap there I go. Is there a car? No, there isn't. It is now 24.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And there is more traffic this way than the other way, it seems. Well, it's because there are only two lanes. Two lanes and a truck or a lorry or however you call it in your country. Yeah. Come on, I need to drive 133 on the speedo. Get out of my way. Yes, I know, I'm too close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People will just hog the left lane. It's really annoying. Oh, there they go. Yeah, power. And it is a nice car to drive, though, even at 130 kilometers per hour. It is relatively quiet in here. It feels stable on the road. Yeah, it's really nice, just like the facelift. I have driven the facelift, and I have reviewed the facelift and watched that video somewhere up here. Uh, but yeah, you will get the result of the 130 km per hour test probably after this section. I'm currently doing my 100 km per hour test and before this I did my 130 km per hour test. For a proper degradation test I have to drive all the way from 100% to 0% anyway. So I thought to myself, well, that is also basically a range test so why not do two consumption runs one at 100 kilometers per hour and one at 130 kilometers per hour to make it a proper range test and a proper uh, degradation test. Oh, in the same video. Bonus. Yes, I know my battery is low. I am, it is a bit nerve wracking, I have to be honest. So I returned the car and I am currently sitting in our Kia e Nero. It is time for the result of the degradation and the range test of the Peugeot 208. First of all, the degradation test. I started the test with 100% state of charge and I finished that test with 4%. So that means I've used 96% of the battery. On that 96%, I have driven 256 kilometers. So that means if I would have driven from 100 to 0%, I could have done 266.66666666, a lot of sixes kilometers. And the average consumption was 16.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So 16.3 times 266.6666666 divided by 100 is 43.5 kilowatt hours. I could get 43.5 kilowatt hours out of the battery. And according to Peugeot, when it was new, it should have 45 kilowatt hours. So I hear you thinking, wow, that is 3% degradation. But not really, I think, because there is always some heat loss when you're driving and I mean in the lab with Peugeot there isn't so there is some heat loss and there is probably some capacity left when you drive below zero percent because every car has that so I think there is zero or maybe one or two percent but probably zero percent degradation as expected and what you could expect from a car uh, this old and with these kilometers so that's really good yeah there is probably some degradation in the buffer, in the 5 kilowatt hour buffer that this car has. But usable capacity, 
no degradation yet. So that is actually very good. Yeah, well done Peugeot. You can happily buy this car charging to 100% and leaving it there. No problem apparently. Stellantis has got this fixed. Is that the word fixed? Sorted. Stellantis has got this sorted. Again, 0% degradation. Well done, well done. Then the range test results, because why not? I now know that I could get around 43.5 kilowatt hours out of the battery of usable capacity. So during my 100 kilometers per hour test, I had an average consumption of 15.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. 43.5 divided by 15.6 is a range of 279 kilometers while driving 100 kilometers per hour in autumn conditions i have to say this in autumn conditions during my 130 kilometers per hour test i had an average consumption of 23.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers so that means in autumn you get a range of around 184 kilometers again during my 90 test because the weather is a bit worse than yesterday i had a consumption that was higher then of my 100 kilometers per hour test but i expect that while driving 90 kilometers per hour you could you can get a range of around 300 to 310 kilometers with that car in these conditions so that means you can probably get the wltp range with this car in summer only not in spring not in autumn and in the winter definitely not it is not the most efficient car Again, I've already said it during my test. If you have the chance, get the new drivetrain with the bigger battery and the 156 horsepower motor because that drivetrain is 10 to 15% more efficient than this one. It's, it's a lot better. It's really a lot better. All right, that was the result of the test. I hope you liked this video anyway, even though that there is no degradation or anything, but Anyway, that was it. Thank you a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And then as always, to be continued.